Hey guys, I want to come on here and do a updated video. The kids are asleep right now, so I'm able to make the video without them making all this racket. Um, the last video I put out, uh, I was letting you guys know we did a um, ultrasound. You know, um, at that time everything came out good. And I uploaded that video, and like literally after I uploaded that video, I think it was in the next hour, they, um, my doctor's office called me and told me that the doctor wanted to refer me to a, a second level ultrasound person, um, maternal fetal health or something like that, because in the ultrasound that they did, they had saw a bright spot on the baby's heart. So yeah, it was weird because the lady that called me to let me know um, that information, she didn't even know what it was. I think it was called a, it was called a, oh my God, I forgot. Let me check real quick. Yeah, it was called a ecogenic, intracardiac focus and she didn't know what it was herself I don't know if she was new or whatever but she didn't know what it was so she basically was googling stuff over the phone and telling me which was some of the same stuff that I saw when I googled it um, uh, I got calcium buildup um, in the heart that you know it shows that and supposedly it's common and um, it doesn't really cause issues and um, the only time where they're they'll see something that you know parents might want to know you know um, is if it's that plus some other markers which would um, indicate I think she said down syndrome or something and so and FYI we didn't take the you know the test they have you take um, to test for like Down syndrome and stuff like that. We didn't we didn't take that. I didn't take that last time either. I think I think I took it with AJ, and the reason I didn't take it with Layla was because um, when I took it with AJ, uh, the number was low, not low, but it was to where it was a high chance, and then like it just had me worried and all that stuff like that, and yeah, so um, yeah. We just decided not to do that with Layla. She was fine. And so we went to an appointment. I thought it was going to make it like weeks out, but it was like a couple days later. We had to go about an hour away. And we went to the maternal, maternal fetal health person, I think is what it's called. I don't know. And we did an ultrasound that lasted about 40 minutes, I guess. I don't know. I can't really remember. But... The entire time the um, person was, you know, looking at the baby or whatever, she was talking to me. And at the end, she was like, well, during it too, but at the end, she was also like, um, I didn't really see any issues, um, so you don't have to really worry. Uh, the doctor's going to come in, and she'll further explain to you what she sees or whatever, but I don't see anything. I don't see any issues or anything like that, so... Um, the doctor came in and she said, she immediately said, your baby's fine. I don't see any issues. Um, the only time that she said that what they found in the heart doesn't cause, um, any physical issues. It don't cause, it doesn't cause any heart problems. It normally fades away and goes away by the third trimester. And even if it's still there after the baby's born, it doesn't cause any issues. The only reason they had you come in and was to rule out any other thing like Down syndrome or something like that because um, if we found that and we found other markers, then that would um, that would normally you know let us know that it's a possibility that the baby has whatever. So, and she said I didn't see anything. Your baby looks totally fine or whatever. And she said I can't. She said of course I can't rule out anything 100 percent. Because you guys didn't take that that um, that test. You know, I don't even know the name of it, but that test you take to see if your baby has something or whatever. 
um, the chromosome test or whatever. I don't know what it's called, but she said, but from what I'm seeing and, you know, I, I guess she, she knows because she does this all the time, but your baby is fine. Um, there, it's normal to see that and the baby has no issues. Um, a high percentage of African American, she said, um, we can see that in the ultrasounds on the heart. Um, she said, oh, she also said that based on what she saw today, well, what she saw the day we did it, the ultrasound, versus the first ultrasounds we took at the other doctor's place, she said that the spot was fading anyway, so that was good. She like, it was fading, it wasn't as bright as it was before, so. So I just wanted to let you guys know that I would have mentioned this in the other video that I uploaded, but they literally called me after I uploaded that video telling you guys everything was perfect in the ultrasound. So um, I just want you guys to know, you know, especially those who are Googling and searching YouTube videos, trying to figure out and they're like where you're worried because, you know, you're thinking, oh my God, like you're thinking the worst. Well, it's not really the worst because, you I mean, yeah, she, she was like, um, you could take the test if you want to still to see. And I was like, no, not the amniocentesis test, but the other test that gives you like, I guess stats on if your baby has something. She's like, cause normally people take that and they try to see if they want to um, end the pregnancy. I'm like, yeah, I'm not going to take that test because I'm not going to do that anyway. Even if the baby did have Down syndrome or whatever, I'm not, I wouldn't do that. So that's just me personally. I wouldn't do that. But, um, what else? Yeah, for your for those people that are googling and are worried because they don't they have no idea what that is. Um, for the most part, when I was googling, I saw a lot about I saw a lot of people saying basically the same thing I'm saying that their second ultrasound ultrasound went fine, or when they had the baby, the baby was fine, and it's that bright spot also called uh, EIF. It's normal and it's weird because when I was Googling, when I was YouTubing it, first few videos I found on this, um, that medical term I said, the intracardiac, ecogenic intracardiac focus. I would see like five or six videos of it and then all of a sudden I, I started seeing like elf, elf on the shelf videos, which was weird. I think, yeah, I think people were typing in, I don't know what that was. E-I-F-E-L-F, -E a capital I, I don't know. That's why I kept seeing elf on the shelf videos. It was weird, but it's also called um, E-I-F. So you might want to type in the whole word, the whole word, the whole name of the the, the, the diagnosis. You want to, you know, type the whole thing in to YouTube or Google and not just like abbreviate because you might get like elf on the shelf videos. But anyways, um... That's about it. Just wanted you guys to know. Um, yeah. <laughs> Talk to y'all later. Bye.